Today we'll continue our series on reflection by looking at properties. If you haven't already seen the video on how to load the assembly or how to call the constructor, you'll probably want to watch those first. So I've made uh, one small change to the code that uh, we've been working with, and that is uh, our class that we're loading. I went in here and added a property called my property. Again, demos, very hard to make uh, meaningful names, so my property is as good as anything else. So let's uh, go back to our main code that's calling that. And we've gone back to calling the default constructor. Let's uh, give ourselves a little bit more room here. And we've left the get type call uh, from when we called the parameterized constructor because we're going to need this type information in order to call the, uh, get the uh, property information. So the next call off of this is property info. equals class one type, get property, and then we're going to call my property. And that's going to get us all of the uh, reflectable information about that property. And then once we have that, we can get the value out of it. And the way we do that is uh, we're going to create another object called value equals prop info get value. And the first parameter is the object that is attached to this property. If you're working with a uh, static property, you don't have to pass anything in, you just pass in null here. And then the second parameter is an array of parameters into that property. And those would be used if you were working with something like a, an index property. 99% uh, of the time we're not doing that, so 99% of the time your code is going to look something like that. Now, if you go, went back and looked at the, uh, the class that we've loaded, you'll see that I've initialized that property to the string default uh, so that we actually have something that we can retrieve there. Uh, if I hadn't done that, then value would end up being null. No big deal. The other thing that you probably want to be able to do with a property is set the value, and that's uh, almost as easy. Prop info, set value, come on. And then O, the value. And then again, uh, if you have any uh, indexed properties that you're dealing with, this last parameter would be those values. Uh, we're just going to pass in null because we don't have any indexes on that property. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to retrieve the property again just to show that that value was actually set. So uh, value O null. And that's really all there is to dealing with properties. We're not going to show uh, index properties because they're not used that often, and I'm sure you could figure that out after uh, seeing this much of the demo. So let's go ahead and run this code. Build errors. Object does not contain. Oh. Value equals. There we go. And let's run this and we'll. Uh, Get our object out here, get a type information, property info, and you'll see the first value is a default, uh, the string default. We'll set the value, so this is a new value, and now the value is, this is a new value. 
That's really all there is to it.